We are back by unpopular demand and in a brand new setting, it's Nana's Nut! <laughs> Welcome to Nana's Neck. Today on the couch, we have the Propaganda Department. Yay! Yay! Yay. Why don't you guys do a little intro of yourselves? Some of us may know Corey, but we have a new member here, Miss Riley. Let's do a little intro. Okay. Well, I'm Riley. I'm the Propaganda Distribution Specialist. Great. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Corey. I am the Chief of Propaganda here. Um, yeah, one of the founders of the company. Normally, Riley and I are on the other side of the camera yeah. shooting this stuff, so it's fun to uh, get to have the bright lights on us and see what happens. Feels good. Yeah. Well, great. Well, welcome to I'm just going to gonna keep this mic the whole time. You can keep it. <laughs> okay. I'll let you borrow it. Thanks. Um, what, in your words, is the propaganda department, and why is it important to have it at CTC? So, the propaganda department is functions as basically the communications department of a company, but when we were like talking about what were we going to call Corey's department as it was of makes the videos and sends them out tries to get web leads or just puts Taylor on camera to figure out what's going on here. I didn't want some like weird name like <clears throat> our operations department is called the differentiation department because it makes things different. So I wanted to name it something that was unique and propaganda was what I came up uh, with because it's like the distribution of information. Mostly unpopular information is where it has been in the past, but we're changing that narrative here. Like Nana's neck. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. That actually <laughs> answers my second question as well. I think this falls under the propaganda department, but what makes CTC different than our competition? Mm. Well, one, we have a propaganda department. One. But I feel like so far what I can attest to is like one, caring about the people who work here more than anyone and also the clients that we work with. Yeah. I think just the culture is unlike anything I've ever experienced. I agree from with a past that. Job. I, I'm, I'm going to answer this too. Yeah, go uh, for I think it. a lot of what makes this place different is our belief in dreaming and that everybody here is a dreamer and everybody here is, uh, has the ability to dream and do whatever they want. So like creating a propaganda department mm -hmm. or saying that the propaganda department needs a propaganda distribution specialist or that we get to build new cool sets or things like that. I mean, I'm sure there's companies that have this, but like it's us, we get to do it and build it. And anybody who goes to Taylor and is like, I want to do this. He's like, okay, great, do it. Yeah, we have a great leader and a great team. I agree with everything you just said. Riley, okay. how long have you been here? Um, three weeks. If that, yeah. maybe, If right? that. Yeah. Her we first got a week was here. our moving week, though, yeah. so it doesn't, I don't know if it really counts as a week. Yeah. But, so, this would be a week and a half, where two, we've actually got to work yeah. together? Two weeks? Yeah. I don't know. Well, we're Short very but lucky sweet. Well, how, you. Would, how have your first couple weeks been? <laughs> yeah. <I'm trying> <laughs> <to say before. laughs> oh, okay, sorry, this is Corey's next, apparently. <laughs> the Corey show. <laughs> Um, gosh, it's been crazy. I have to say, I walked in on my first day to like a spirit tunnel of like <laughs> clapping. It was, I mean, this is honestly, not to sound corny, like unlike any place I've ever worked. Um, everyone's just so cool and welcoming and just so passionate about what they're doing. And that's just inspiring to be working with people who are like motivated to bring them their best selves every day is something that just like makes me want to be a better person. I feel like I have Great. new standards of living to live up to as That's far awesome. as treating others and work. That's great. Yeah. How's your boss? Um, <laughs> I'm getting nervous. We can maybe talk in private. Where we cut the camera recording. Um, no, we're, I would say very similar. Um, yes. We both like Modelo. Yes, yes. And Cheers. Pacifico. Yes. Um, <laughs> we like essential oils, which the people, you know, viewing in the audience can't smell the, um, <laughs> what scent are we? Patchouli. Patchouli. Patchouli and oranges. It's like a hippie orange grove over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
what we're going for. Um, yeah, pretty chill guy. Very opinionated. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's an interesting mm -hmm. juxtaposition, I would say. I You're very calm, but very judgmental. Yeah. You are kind of like one big tug of war with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, a good thing. But I mean judgmental in like the nicest way. Yeah, like yeah. you're elitist about the things that, you know, you hold people to a good standard. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Aw, you're a, making him blush. A good elitist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back on track. I'm sweating now. Uh, yeah. no, I'm <laughs> it's not just the lights either. Okay, so if viewers were to tune in to just one of our like media outlets, which one would you guys recommend and why? Mm. So like channels or channels, shows? yes. So channels. like mm. our blog, mm. our video blogs, mm. our new like Facebook TV. What would you guys recommend? I think our blog because it encapsulates everything that we create is all going there. Some of the things we make like for Instagram TV versus like what would go on LinkedIn or through email are all kind of different, but the blog is kind of where like everything we've ever made lives. So if you just wanna know everything about what we're doing, I would go there and you can find out other stuff like how to work with CTC, um, check out some headshots of the people who work here. Coming soon. Yeah. That's great advice. I, I agree with her. Um, what she said? Yeah, because there's no other place where all of our content lives in one place. Like when we're distributing on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or any of these places, every format is different, mm -hmm. but the blog is where we can put every format no matter what. So it's IGTV, which is <clears throat> maybe our most best watched format right now, but the videos are nine by 16 or 16 by nine, yeah, whatever it like, is. Yeah. But they're like vertical shot videos that have to be eight minutes or less. Like you're not gonna see this on IGTV because we're gonna be here for far longer than eight minutes. Mm -hmm. So I would say if you care the most about like information via Taylor about what we do, our IGTV is probably the best channel. But if you care about who CTC is and the culture and everybody behind it, I think the blog is the best place. Great. So check out our blog. I think it's commonthreadcode.com backslash coaches corner. Yes. There might be a dash in there. Oh, you're right. Coaches dash corner. Just go to our we'll, homepage. We'll, Common we'll thread collective yeah. Com, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure, yeah, out we'll figure that. that out. Blog tab. Okay, now we're going to move into some rapid fire questions mm -hmm. that you both should answer. So just have fun with it and do whatever comes first to mind. But all time favorite movie? Mm. Lady Bird. Lady Bird. Oh, a little indie. Yeah. Sacramento. <laughs> oh. I'm not from there, I know, though. That's, <laughs> where I'm from there. <laughs> that's where I'm from, and that's where we're yeah. shot. So it's a, yeah, okay. it's a very nostalgic movie for me, the Lady oh. Bird yeah. on the other side of the tracks. Is I went and saw it in movie? theater no. like three times. Wow. I just really liked it. It spoke to you. Wow. That's great. It was just a normal movie, but it really. It really was. It was a great film. Um, my favorite movie. Ever. This is tough. Favorite movie ever? Maybe Waterworld. Oh, yes. <laughs> Such a great movie. Have that you gone to the Universal Studios reenactment? Yeah, you're yeah. going to make my husband very, very proud. Right I now. love all post-apocalyptic things. All right. <laughs> great. Moving on. Favorite guilty pleasure musician? Mm. Don't hold back. Like, you're afraid to admit it to your friends, but you're just going to admit it right now mm. to everyone. I don't feel qualified to listen to this, but Skepta, it's like a British grime rapper, oh. is my guilty pleasure. Why are you not qualified? I just feel like... She's not from Britain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not from there. And... Skepta? I just, yeah. Okay. I'll have to look them up. It's not like pleasant to listen to. Oh, so it's but like, like, if I'm in like gnarly, raunchy. I don't know. I honestly can't understand most of what's said because there's a really thick accent, yeah. but... We know what we're playing. After <laughs> <you> know, <so. laughs> if I'm like, like in an intense mood, in it's like once in a blue moon. That's my guilty pleasure. Great. Okay. I love that. Mine yep. is Mark Anthony. Wow. Yeah, Vivier Medita is like one of the best songs. That's like that. Such a renaissance man. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, I love that song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a Mark Anthony vinyl. You do not. I do. Mm -hmm. At home in the collection. Okay, we might have to bring that in and play it here. Great. Who would play you in a movie of your life? Mm -hmm. This one's kind of hard. Yeah, I don't know, like, personality-wise, but um, 
my like doppelganger that all my friends say that I look like is this French actress from Inglorious Bastards, the Quentin Definitely. Tarantino film. Oh my god! Yes. So mm -hmm. I can see that's that. what I've been also told. Like a young Heather Graham. I don't know. That is. Oh, you're so young! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. This is actually a tough question. I know. Yeah. Sorry. Um, who would play me in a movie? I would have said, um, what's his name? The guy who uh, was from The Office, and then now he's like the action hero. But before he was the action hero, Jim. Oh, Jim. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I, guess. I think in The Office he's way more like me than now of like strong. Yeah. And oh, like, you mean personality wise? Yes. Okay, mm. got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, what is his name? John Krasinski. John Krasinski. Yes. yes. John that Krasinski. guy. Yes. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, you like that? Yeah. Thanks. I don't know who you're talking about, actually. <laughs> I've seen the movie. Yeah, I'll do that. I, yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. Girl. She um, kills Hitler. What's her name? Uh, the, like, it's like gorgeous. Melanie Laurent, oh, yeah. I That's think, is her name. I was thinking the, uh, I was thinking another movie. The, yes. Okay. I was thinking yeah. The, uh, I was thinking Django. Oh, oh. Django. That'd be fun. Same, same, same but different. Django. Great movies, both of them. Um, what is the best gift you've ever received? Ooh. I, I'm just saying, um, because I don't no, know. I actually yeah. know, Kay. which happened this birthday, oh. this year, and it was from Morgan of bringing my very good friend Amber that here really to do great. yoga with everybody at CTC and not fun. telling me. So yeah, that was that was very very good. Very Thanks, good Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. Nice we job. all got to like benefit from that, yeah. so I appreciate <laughs> yeah, that, that too. Cool, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have one? Um, I can't think of like a specific instance. But every now and then I'll get a concert ticket for my birthday, and that's always fun because it's an experience Your boss that you get to go do with someone. May twenty third. Wow, Corey! Oh, oh, your birthday's May twenty third? Yeah, she's great. She said it a couple times. <laughs> people just keep asking me. I'm not like blabbing it. I get. Hey I don't guys, like when people sing me happy birthday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, no, if you had know. one superpower, what would it be? Mm. And why? Okay. Mine would be to fly. Why? So I'd go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good simple. one. Simple, very simple. Okay, mine wouldn't be to fly. That's a great one. I'd say teleport. teleport. <laughs> <laughs> it's quicker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I'm afraid of heights, so I just want to like oh. get there, but not have to, you know, yeah, like, be scared. I guess, but like, what if I hit something? Do you have a fear of like flying in planes? Like, is that too high for you or is that different? No, it's more like if I'm like walking along like a cliff or a bridge. Like a tightrope? Yeah, do you do anything I could maybe <laughs> fall off of. Oh, that's weird. I just get naturally scared. Like yeah. evolution just kicks Probably in. It, I'm gonna go deep here, but I think this, this fear comes from your ability to control if you fall or not. And in a plane, you have no control <laughs> over the plane crashing or not, but when you're on like a ledge, like you are the one in control oh, of falling or not. Oh, I see enough. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. That's deep. Yeah. Maybe. Follow-up question, where would you guys first fly or teleport to? Hmm. I really want to go to Nepal. That is where I would go. I'd for sure go like Antarctica. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, like to like where that the million penguin up. Yeah, places. I was going to say with all the penguins. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Part of the yeah. Penguins. That's a great, sad movie. I that like was, I went on my iTunes, because obviously we don't buy music anymore. Uh -huh. And I had bought the March of the Penguins soundtrack at some point in my life. I spent $9.99 to <laughs> <laughs> download Is that it album. Like Morgan Freeman talking I for don't, hours? It's like, <laughs> oh, that's okay. it's the like piano. <laughs> Well, great. This has been a great Nana's Nook, but I learned a gem about you yesterday that you speak Spanish. A little. Do you think you could, like, <laughs> sign us off in Spanish? Like, say, Ciao. signing off of Nana's Nook, <laughs> a.k.a. the best show ever. <laughs> Can you say that in Spanish? Okay. Gracias por viendo Nana's Nook, el mejor episodio de televisión en todo el mundo. Woo! Gracias! Gracias. Salud! <laughs>